Mr. Eggplant presents... Hey guys, Tyler here and thanks for checking out this video. And as promised, we have an additional 10 pets that are either rare or unique skins that you should look for and consider taming before Shadowlands starts. Uh, all of the pets in this video will be uh, unique or rare, like I said, and they will be available to all three specs, whether that's Survival, Marksman, uh, or Beast Mastery. So there will be no Spectral Beasts here, no exotic pets. And if you want to know what was in that first uh, 10, the first batch of 10. Uh, it will be up in the corner of your screen right now or in the description of this video. And one last thing before we get started, if you want to know any more information on each one of these pets, all of their information uh, will be down below as well. So let's get started. So the first pet on our list is going to be Terrapine and he is the magma turtle found in Mount Hygel. So, as you can see here on the map, it is in the lava pools just in front of the Firelands portal. And this one's going to be one of the harder ones to find, uh, just because it does have a long respawn timer. But you can, as you can see in my video, uh, you can have a friend go make a trial character and invite you to a server where he is already up. It only took me about 10 minutes to find him, and this is actually a really nice one, so it might give Jim Hyde a run for its money. So let's go check out the next one. So for the next pet on our list, we find ourselves back here in Shilazar Basin, and we are in the Rain Speaker Canopy here. Uh, you have to unlock the dailies for the oracles, which is really easy to do. You do it actually just going through some of the quest in the zone. And you have to wait for the quest, a cleansing song, because this is how we're going to get our Hydra. So once this daily comes up, we have to go to the three different areas, and the Atha, the spirit of Atha, is actually the one we're going to go get. So let's head over there all right so we flew just a little bit over here uh, we're just west of the glimmering pillar here and you just need to use the item they gave us to summon atha let's go ahead and use that there and here it comes so this is a beast it is spectral so you can see through him there but let's go ahead and tame him so this is actually one of the pets i'm looking forward to the most and as you can see it does keep that ghostly look that uh, transparent look and fun fact, I actually summoned that one over there as well. So if you have a friend that has the quest unlocked, they can actually just summon it and leave it and it doesn't despawn. So some lucky hunter is going to see this thing and think it's so rare. Uh, but you just leave it there and it'll add another pet to our collection. So the next pet on our list that we're going to be taming is found in Old Solithus. So you want to make sure and go talk to uh, Zadormi and make sure that you go back in time uh, to the old Solithus and then come over here to the Twilight Run. So we come into this uh, cave here. If you, you can already know if it's gonna be in here or not because it'll be sitting right there and you'll be able to see him. He is a rare there, so we're gonna pop down here real quick. And luckily we are a hunter, so we're just going to go ahead and feign right away. Now let's go pick up this beauty. Ta-da! Perfect. So this one did have a little bit longer uh, respawn timer than I realized. And this is a unique model, so it's the only one that is this uh, violet-red color. So our next pet is found here in the Ungoro Crater, just over here by the Fungal Rock, and it is this beautiful beast right here. So I'm actually going to go ahead and tame him before somebody snipes him from me. He is a unique model gorilla. He has a white body and a blue face. It's kind of hard to see here in this light. So let's go ahead and take him to our garrison really fast and actually show you what he looks like. So now that we're back here in the garrison, we can finally see what Uk Lock uh, looks like in better light. So he has navy blue uh, skin on his chest and then face and hands, and then also he has uh, white fur on his body. And this is the uh, one of two rares that have this same color scheme. The other one is in the northern Stranglethorn Vale area. So I hope you guys will add this one to your collection. It was a little bit harder to find than I thought it would be because Ungoro is fairly busy with levelers. So for the next pet on our list, we come to the Southern Barrens, and we are going to be headed into Razorfin Crawl, which is all the way down at the southern end, just before you get to Thousand Needles of the Southern Barrens. 
We'll go ahead and pop in here and we are going to be going to get the spectral boar today. So to get the boar, you have to come into Razorfin Crawl here and go to the second to last boss. And after you kill the blind hunter, we can claim our prize. Alright, so we came back here to the blind hunter all the way near the end. And this is actually a pet that you could tame as well. But if you do tame this, this doesn't open up on the side. So make sure you do it in two separate visits. So we'll come on in here. And then we have the boar spirit. Uh, so this is actually... The old boss that used to be down here, which you can still see its head there on the map, uh, which was like Agrimar's Spirit, I believe it was what it was called. And they were actually going to take that out, uh, but they added these Spore Spirits in here at the end so you could still keep the model. So as we pick this one up, there we go, and let's go ahead and head to the garrison just so I can show you guys what it looks like in some better light. And as we can see here, the boar is back in our garrison, and it is almost completely transparent, which is really cool. It's actually one of the, the more see-through models for pets, at least, uh, outside of Spirit Beast that you'll find. So I hope you guys will add this one to your collection, because it is one of my favorites. So next on our list is Hellhoot. Hellhoot is a white owl, and he also has uh, purple on his plumage, and as you can see by his picture, and we'll check out here in just a second, he has green eyes because I'm pretty sure he's been taken over by a demon or has some sort of demon soul. So he has a unique model, and that qualifies him to be tamed and put on our list. As you can see, he's got green eyes there. He is the only owl that has green eyes, of course. Perfect. So here's a better look. You can see he's got a nice fell green eyes, and we can add another to our collection. So coming in at number seven on our list is King Banglash. This guy is an OG for sure. Uh, he is found now since they've moved him several times in Northern Stranglethorn, just north of the uh, Whirlpool on the map. And this is the last uh, animal that him at Nessingwary needs you to kill. So we'll just go ahead and tame him here real fast. If he does uh, get pulled by somebody else, uh, you can easily uh, wait for him to respawn. As you can see, that happened to me while recording this video. Uh, but this one, it scales with your level, and it is uh, a unique uh, white Bengal tiger. It's so beautiful. So, All right, so we got rid of the prowl there. And this was something that, when I was leveling, wanted for so long. And it was actually in Elite. Uh, back in the day when I was playing it was very difficult to tame but now it is not and you can add one to your collection. So for this next pet on our list I realize we did not have a raptor yet and there is one uh, beautiful raptor which is this light blue uh, Draenor raptor and it is here in Gorgrond uh, just south of the pit in the Blackrock Foundry and it is Riplash. He is a part of one of the quests so he's almost always up he is that beautiful uh, cerulean blue, and uh, I cannot wait to add him to our collection. So let's go ahead and do that now. And like I said, he is the only one uh, in the game with this color. Uh, so it's a pretty pretty nice one. Uh, it's a nice uh, blue, and I hope you guys like this one and uh, want to add it to your collection. So the next one on our list is Deep Glider, and Deep Glider is a rare ray that is found in Najatar. It has a nice red and blue stripe design on his back, but it is pretty rare uh, and has a long spawn timer. So it's found anywhere here in Najatar in the Coral Forest, and you might have to jump uh, servers or two to find this one, but it's worth it. So last but not least, we have Vathaker. Uh, he is found here in Voldoon. And of course, he is unique because he is the only black cobra uh, currently in the game. So you want to try to do it before he does Rattling Earth. Uh, if not, he'll just pop back up. But like I said, he is the only black cobra. He is the new cobra model. And uh, this is just a nice one because uh, I did want to do a nice mix of uh, new and old models uh, for your collection. So I hope you'll consider going and grabbing this one. So thanks for checking out my video guys, these are so much fun to put together and in fact my pet collection has went through the roof since I started making these. And I have still a few more I could add to another video if you guys want to see that. So please leave me uh, some feedback in the comment section below. Uh, I don't know, this terrapine might uh, give Jim Hyde a run for his money. You might see him in a couple of videos. So thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And be sure and follow me over at Twitch at twitch.tv slash Mr. Eggplant. 
If you guys want to see any other pets in a future video, please also leave me a comment below and let me know which one out of this video that you're going to go and try to tame yourself. So thanks for watching.